Sigh, dude. Yo, guys, what's up? This is Tazy, and today we are bringing it back with another video. <clears throat> so, guys, I tweeted this out on Twitter, and I tweeted out a video today. I tweeted that two days ago, well, technically three days ago. And right away, guys, it got so much support, it got so many likes, retweets, and lots of replies saying, Yes, I can't wait. And I didn't upload that day because. I'm sorry guys, I just felt so bad. So if we could break 100 likes on this video, I'll upload right when we hit 100 likes. So, cause I got lots of videos, like lots of video ideas, like crazy amounts. I still gotta tell you something that I said like a month ago and I better do it soon because it won't be able to do it again. Okay, let's get into this game boys. So guys, if you don't know, I am in high school. I am in grade 9, I'm a minor 9er, if you guys don't know, which I am a minor 9er. But that doesn't really matter, guys. We gotta get to the point. So, there's no really bullying that goes on my school yet. I haven't seen no bu bullies, no one picked on me. If anything, I got... A lot of stuff, crazy stuff happened in high school. It's, it's pretty awesome. But, that's besides the point. Let's get right to it. So, this topic I'm gonna be talking about is bus rides. Everybody knows, everybody has, everybody experienced the bus ride. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's when you get a supply bus driver and he just does not know what's going on. He doesn't know where your stop is or anything like that. He's new, he's 80 years old, he's going to be in a home soon. So, yeah. You know what bus I'm talking about? Like those old ass buses with the freaking, where you got to pull out the handle instead of pressing the bus. Bu button it's all rusty you can't even the windows the seats are all ripped and torn we all know that bus but anyways so we have a lot of different bus drivers getting to our bus is so hard in high school there's so many numbers it's just honestly it's the hardest thing I, I felt like I was gonna miss my bus like so many times so many times awesome guys didn't know this video is in 1080p okay but anyways back to the point I keep getting off topic so this bus driver, I get on the bus, right? He's not a, this guy. He's he's a, he's pretty old. I say he's in his 70s, okay? And you, I think he should take his driver's license again, because... Oh my god! <laughs> like, the frustration that goes through my face, I can't even explain it. Like, it's so bad, guys. It's not even funny. It, like, I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna die with this bus driver. I physically feel like I'm gonna die. I get, like, five different bus drivers. Every day, I get a new bus driver. But this one guy, I had him for like three days. Oh my god. It's... If, mm, uh, okay, guys. So, I know this is... Uh, P, the bus drivers have to do this. You know how they look in their big mirror, those rectangle mirrors to look at you? This guy, every six seconds, we were counting, me and my friend, every six seconds, he would look up at the mirror and stare for it for two, two seconds. And you know how, in that two seconds... You know how easy it is to get in an accident, dude? Oh my god. It's crazy. It's crazy. So, this guy, you can't miss my house. There's pylons outside. He calls me the pylon guy. What a loser. Anyways, so the first time he didn't know where my house is, right? And I'm just sitting there with my earbuds in, you know. I probably look like a fucking idiot just sitting here staring out the window like this. And I didn't know. He's like, yo, where's your stop? Where's your stop? And I'm just sitting there like a moron, just staring out the window like. So he passed my house and I get up. I'm like, yo, bro, you passed my house. I didn't say yo, bro. I'm like, yo, you passed my house. I didn't say yo either. I'm like, hey, dude, you passed my house. I didn't say dude either. I'm like, you passed my house. But we all have that bus driver, guys. He, he's such a bad bus driver. Looks up 80% of the time. 20% he's on the road. Literally. And then he passes my house. It shows it shows on the piece of paper the address. But no, he doesn't look at that. He just looks at us. He stares at me. So guys, I really don't give out shout outs. Like I usually say, oh no, I don't give out shout outs just because you know, I feel like if I give out a shout out, everybody's gonna ask for a shout out. Just that that's how it goes, guys. And I just want to give a big, big shout out to Vonix. If you guys don't know who he is, he has 22k. He has a lot more than me. And you should I just want to give him a huge shout out, man. He creates amazing content. Like, amazing content. Like, honestly, it makes me laugh every time. It's so funny. I don't know how he's so funny. I wish I could be that funny. 
But honestly, guys, he is awesome. Go check him out. He, he's just awesome. So he has a series on his channel, Road to My Dream Setup, and I'm thinking of doing that too. I'm not copying you, Vonix. I'm just thinking that's an amazing idea. I love that because personally, I love gaming. I built my computer. I know a lot about computers. I know a lot about setups. I know all about Hertz, FP. I think everybody knows about FPS, utilization, clock speeds, everything like that. So if you guys would like to see like setup videos and all that, like building my setup every time I get new equipment and all that, building it up to my dream setup, just comment down. But I hopefully you guys like the YouTube video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. This has been Tazy, and I'm out. Peace. Yo, Vonix, what's up, man? Tazy. Just woke up. This has been Tazy, and you got a bang? Or nah. I, I, mean, I, I didn't really listen to what he said at the end. But, bro, Tazy. I, I also love watching Tazy's videos. He's a pretty cool dude.